Are you tired of your Maverick holes looking like this? I guarantee your teammates are. Mav's blowtorch is probably the most complex gadget in the game and easily has the highest skill curve, and one of the hardest skills to master is known as Mav tricking. Normally, Mav is more of a secondary hard breach who has a quiet but slow gadget that can help other hard breachers clear utility off of a wall. Since Mav has super complex mechanics, he can quickly become a primary hard breach on his own, being able to open up any reinforcement completely on his own. If you want to learn how to effectively use one of the most self-sufficient attackers in the game and bypass wall denial like Mute and Cade, this is the video for you. I'll just be covering reinforced walls in this video since there are three main methods. Opening hatches will get its own video because I don't want to make this video too long. It should be coming out pretty shortly after this one, so let's get into how to open walls. As always, if you find this video helpful, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to comment them down below. I'll start off with my personal favorite, especially for a wall like this, when you can repel. So what you want to do is you flip upside down. And basically, there's this little dip here. And if you don't go down the dip, you won't take electricity damage. So you want to go down until you just start taking damage and move up just a little bit. So you can see there, don't take damage. And if you aim in, you move slower so you can really get as low as possible. You just want to make sure your torch crosshair narrows. You want to make sure you're almost aligned to the center of the wall you're trying to open. And you can start on the bottom. And you start burning. And as you move across, you're going to strafe and move your mouse so that you get this nice sweeping motion. So with one canister, you should be able to get the entire bottom part of the wall. You have to make sure that each of these edges are burned off entirely. If there's any red on these edges, the wall won't open. Next, you just go up top. You can go a little bit lower just so you don't get contested from rafters or from anyone trying to peek this. But again, you're going to be aligned almost in the center. Make sure your crosshair is tightened because that means the torch is actually going to burn the wall once you start burning. And again, strafe. And just like that, the wall is wide open. So again, if someone's peeking this, you want to make sure that as you strafe, you just keep going. Because a lot of people don't expect the wall to be open this fast. So you'll have a good chance of just not getting shot at because they'll be stuck looking over on this side. Something that could happen is a C4 gets tossed. So in the event of that happening, you, all you want to do is just exit repel and you'll be totally safe. So now this wall can be opened by any soft breach. Zofia, Ash, Sludge, or Buck are the best for this, but if you really need to, you can try to time a nade perfectly to kind of blow up the wall, but that is inconsistent destruction. So for simplicity's sake, I'll just burn open the rest of this wall. Now something you might notice is that the wall actually stays electrified. This used to be an issue if you had an ash on your team because the electricity would destroy the ash charge, but now that doesn't do anything, so you'll be all fine. If it's a bandit, you can normally shoot it off just fine. If it's a Kate, it will stay electrified, meaning if you vault in, you will take a little bit of damage, but that should not be too big of an issue. You know, you'll take two, maybe three ticks of damage as you're running through. The second way that you can open up the entire wall doesn't actually require you to be repelling. This is good for pretty much any other external wall. I know that CC wall is pretty unique in the sense that you can repel to open it, but there are lots of other walls where that's not a possibility. So let's cover how you can open the wall without having to worry about repelling. So all you're going to do is you're going to start from the top now because the bottom is going to be the hard part because your feet will be exposed. So you start off with the top so you can minimize exposure and make sure that your feet aren't getting shot out as you try to get the bottom and then the top part too. So you want to get pretty close to the wall. You're not going to be as centered as with the first method, just because you have to look up and strafe while you're doing it. Repelling makes it a little bit more forgiving, so. You'll just look up as high as you can, make sure you burn that corner, and just strafe. Just like that. Not even a full canister. I'm going to reload. Typically, you don't want to reload with your canisters, but if you just have a tiny bit left in that red, you won't actually be able to burn the wall, so it's just going to save you time. 
So now the fun part. So the struggle here is that for any defenders, they're going to be able to prone from this corner here and shoot out this way as you're burning. Some people do prone and they'll just back away like this. I prefer crouching because you do move a little bit faster and when you're proning and crawling around, your arms kind of fly out weirdly. So it's just an extra chance to get shot that I don't really like to risk. All you're going to do is just line yourself up. You want to be at a pretty steep angle here. Just so that you're minimizing the amount of exposure. So you're just going to start burning. Just like so. And there you go. Walls opened. And I will say that this method is a little bit better because it allows you to open up the entire wall, meaning you can run through once this soft part is opened, as opposed to when you're repelling, because when you're repelled, it'll most of the time be only a vaultable hole if you don't want to get shocked while doing it. And again, even though the entire wall is gone, the electricity is still here. This is just a consequence of the Mav tricking mechanic, so it's something you just have to deal with. Probably the hardest way to open the wall is something that I've already covered on this channel, but I figured I'd give an update since it is still working. Reinforcements have a really weird system that they're built on in terms of HP and structural integrity. But you could technically open the wall with as little as one canister. This is really hard to do, especially from the outside like this, because it requires you hitting very certain points of the wall that you can only really see from the inside of the reinforcement. If you do from the outside, you're kind of acting on instinct and it can be quite difficult. But I'll give a little demonstration. Basically, you want to get as close to the wall as possible and look all the way up. And you want to be burning between these two posts right here. And you want to make sure that the entirety of this middle part is burned out. You don't want any metal touching at any point along this. Then you can go from the bottom and cover roughly the same area, a little bit out from this little spike right here. Just bring the very bottom. There you go. This is a way safer way to open the wall. It is really difficult to do, and I wouldn't say it's very consistent. But if you can get it down, this is a really fast way and a really unexpected way because it really leaves very little room for the enemies to shoot you. Now I'll be demonstrating from the inside of the reinforcement what exactly is going on here because it is a little bit hard to see and know what to look for if you haven't seen it from this side. You're still focusing these spikes. These yellow little bolts correspond with the spikes on the other side of the wall. And basically what you're doing is you're burning out everything inside of this little lip right here. You're burning out all of this metal and you're burning out the corresponding metal on the bottom. And for some reason that does enough damage to the wall that it just breaks open entirely. You're literally just going to burn across that entire top portion, making sure there's no metal touching these little corner pieces and then line yourself up the spikes again and just go through one canister and the walls opened it is really a bizarre mechanic it's kind of fun so if you really want to take the time to learn it go ahead again it is really hard to do from the outside of the wall if you notice a wall reinforced backwards or in other words with the metal facing you you can use this method but otherwise i'd honestly recommend just using the normal two canister method because it is more consistent and doesn't rely as much on you almost getting lucky with not missing any of these parts they have to burn. And there you have it. Those are the three main ways to Mav trick a wall. Hopefully you find these helpful. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any requests for another type of video, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. It's playable right now if you're on PC on the test server. And I'll just say right now, it's amazing. But let's go over the mode first and then I'll give my own first impressions on it.